Hi, this is Johnny Bergen with another Chicago Blues guitar lesson. Hanging out in one of my uh, favorite spots when I'm traveling in Texas. This is the Guitar Lounge in Galveston, Texas. Love it down here. Lots of great guitars. This is a Bluebird. Kind of interesting guitar. Love the finish. A lot of unique stuff here. And uh, today we're talking about Louisiana Blues by Muddy Waters. The last thing I did was uh, also an open G thing. Crawling King Snake by John Lee Hooker. So this will sort of complete the picture, really, of uh, some great things you can do in Open G. And you know, if Muddy Waters had only done Louisiana Blues, or maybe Louisiana Blues and Walking Blues, he'd be still be incredibly famous because these these songs are just magical. There's something magical about it. And uh, let's just talk a little bit about it. You know, when you slide, you can sort of start from right behind it and slide into it that's kind of the slide part you know i like to slide on my pinky because it really helps to have these fingers these other three fingers to uh, do chords and and um to do other things you need to do so just like the john lee hooker thing almost everything so much of it is on the fifth and third fret occasionally you're going to jump up to the seventh fret we're going to get to that so it starts out on the g note That's 3rd fret, 3rd on the A string now, and then 2nd fret on the D string. Hi, I'm interrupting this video to uh, take another stab at the intro because what I just did showed you where the notes were, but as far as actually the flavor of the way Muddy Waters played it, it was miserably lame. So let's do it again. This time, I'm going to be an open A it matches the tone on the record a little bit better i got finger picks thumb picks and the amazing thing about this intro is that it kind of reminds me of a diddly bow like a wire that's been nailed to the wall i don't want to bump into the b string because you're sort of losing it a little bit He likes to wang that note a little bit. That sounded a little bit better. Let's try it again, okay? And this time I'm going to really think about a diddly bow. And if you're having a problem with the thumb picks and finger picks or the slide, just try walking through it without any of that. You can use your finger and just your fingers here, no slide, just to get, just to chunk it up, you know? His rhythm on that is just, I can't quite catch it. So it's kind of like that. It's got to really cry, man. You can even pull it off. I'll try it one more time. Okay, that's a little bit better. And as you can see, this stuff, the more you chase it, the more it slips away. Um, his vibrato and, and tone and, and it having come from that, originally from a diddly bow, it just, and the way his ear was and the way his touch was and that sting that he had, you know, it all came together for something new under the sun in this context of uh, the uh, proto Chicago blues. So really exciting stuff. So good luck trying this at home. So when I'm playing slide, I try to use my third finger to bump into the strings and kill some of the notes because I don't want to go... <laughs> 
I want to control my sound, you know? I know there's some noise behind me. That's because this is an active guitar store going on right now. Let's try it again. It almost whispers, doesn't it? And to go from the seventh to the third and then open repeats the vocal melody. My trouble just begun. So. Now let's start. It starts on the four for the vocals. I'm going to Louisiana. But on the four, he plays the one over it. He plays a G note over the four. So the four is the fifth fret on the just barring, but you're not doing that. You can just use your slide. Honey, be honey. Then just move it up two frets to the seventh fret of the A string. So back to your groove. I love this. I'm going down to Louisiana. You never hear bands do this song. Honey be honey See there's a little tug there and then you might hear That's sort of to make it a little more emphatic, right? Loud silence, right? If a little bit of the four gets mixed in there, the C note over the G, no worries, right? So this is the 12th fret. I jumped ahead to the ending. That was better that time, wasn't it? So that's basically how to do um, Louisiana Blues. I just love that song, and the harp on there is so great. It's such a great counterpoint. Ba, 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 da, do, do. And the other guitar is fabulous. Um, had to be Jimmy Rogers. Just love it, man. So. There. And I'm accidentally hitting way too many notes sometimes, huh? Yeah. So have fun with this song. And think about these songs as really kind of like set pieces. They're more or less the same every time. Walking blues, um, feel like going home, can't be satisfied. And once you learn the first one, it's easier to learn the second one. Which is just this. I'm gonna do that slow. It's in Walking Blues and so many songs he does, and it's all out of the third and fifth fret on the A and D strings. It's a lot of fun. I picked a guitar with. Uh, kind of high action to help me out but you can do it on any guitar and uh, you know stay in touch drop me a line and uh, do subscribe to my YouTube channel for looks at all the blues greats see you next time from the guitar lounge in Galston thanks a lot <laughs>